Hi Capricorn, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the month of September 2018. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing and subscribing to these videos that I put out there on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I welcome and invite you to go up there and press that button. And it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to either schedule a private reading with me or a Reiki healing session with me. Okay, Capricorn, away we go for the beautiful month of September. You have been given for the beginning of the first week the Six of Earth. And Earth cards have to do a great way to start your, your month off, I have to say, to Scorpio with the Six of Earth. But Earth cards generally have to do with uh, our jobs, professions, careers, and the currency therein that we bring in within that form of abundance into our lives. But it is the Earth card, and it can have to do with the ecosystem, people who work in, uh, in nature or for causes uh, for, you know... It, Mother Earth. Also, it can have to do with our closest circle, which is our family, our intimate family, or people we feel close enough to bring into that family circle. <coughs> but as I said, this Six of Earth is an abundance card. It's an amazing way to start off your month of September, uh, Capricorn, and it has to do with uh, abundance coming into you, and that can come in the form of currency. There may be gifts in the form of money, time, or effort. So some of you may be receiving money. You may have been expecting a, a refund check or an inheritance check or a raise. Or some of you may have had a windfall uh, that you have been expecting to come in. Know that those monies for some of you will arrive. For others, it's time. Perhaps you've been needing time. You've been asking for time off. And you, know, and you may have not been eligible to get it. But please know that there have been some considerations taken. And for some of you, you will get that long needed time off. For others, I see it's recognition and all the effort that you've been putting forth towards an endeavor, towards an event, towards a project, towards your place of where you work. Uh, or you may have put in effort into helping a cause uh, with uh, those that need you right now. You're going to see the benefits coming in in the form of abundance and getting recognition for that effort you've been putting in. I do see some of you will be embarking on a new career. You're going to be wanting to step out, and I do see that some of you will be stepping out, uh, you know, opening a new door, a new opportunity coming in on your path that involves a new career coming in for some of you. Others, I see that you've applied to borrow money. And know that you, I, and I know that you've been waiting around. I see that you've been waiting around to see if it has been approved. This is giving you confirmation. Yes, you will receive those monies. For others that have been paying off a long-standing debt, you will now have the resources to clear that debt. I told you it's a great way to start off your month of September, Capricorn. Three of water for the middle of the first week of uh, of that. We'll get you over here yet uh, of September the middle of the first week of September and water cards are our relationship cards and sometimes they can be romantic and other times they may not be but this is telling me that there will be a celebration coming in so expect a celebration to come in some of you uh, you know will be going to either a, a, a wedding uh, being a, maybe you're the bride or the groom uh, some of you may be a party in that or helping out at a wedding I do see some of you may be getting involved or being a participant or a guest at a graduation and others will be getting an invitation because there's going to be a new addition to the family, a new baby, a birth announcement coming in. So enjoy those beautiful celebratory events, Capricorn, that you're, you're going to be seeing coming into you in September. Um, I do see that you have been busy and you've been lacking fun and all of that that comes with these type of events. So know that you're going to be going and you're going to have a great time. At the end of the first week, Capricorn, you've been given this beautiful 
oracle message called inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So you are like the wise owl. I always call my Capricorns achievers. You put your head down and you get that job done. You're also a perfectionist. You're very good at mentoring others and you make wonderful teachers. Uh, so you're like this wise owl. So there's an event or a situation in some of your lives right now, Capricorns, that you need to have to deal with and you know what to do. So don't be afraid, don't hesitate, just put your head down like you always do and deal with it and trust your own intuition, trust your own in inner wisdom and, and you'll be able to take appropriate action, okay? So don't wait around, go for it. The beginning of the first week, uh, or the beginning of the second week of September, Capricorn, uh, you've been given an Earth card again, and you had that at the beginning of the first week, and this is the Queen of Earth. And this is all about um, you now being able to step back and make time for people around you. And it may be, uh, you know, people in your immediate, uh, in your immediate uh, circle, your family, but it may also be people at work or uh, in some cause or some project or some, um, some event that you're getting involved in. I do see you making time for people around you. You're going to be taking a sensible approach. For some of these people, uh, for some of you Capricorns, I see there may have been a little bit of a disagreement or a, um, you know, an absence of these people in your life uh, because of something that happened. And now you're going to hook up with them again and you're going to be seeing the situation and dealing with any challenges in a more kinder and understanding manner. Uh, and they therein will be doing the same. In the middle of the second week, Capricorn, another Earth card, you've been given the Knight of Earth. So this talks about, uh, you know, things have to get done. Um, you know, you've had the time to spend with these people now, and you've had you've taken some time off, but now you've got to buckle down and honor your previous commitments. This has been coming up a lot in other readings as well. So I know summertime is a time when, you know, people go off on holidays or they've had to take time off for whatever. Perhaps some of you it was because you had to have some unexpected surgery, which has, you know, left you uh, having to recover and do rehab, and now you're getting on your feet again. So there's work that needs to be done that hasn't been uh, getting completed, and know that you're going to have the help to do this. It's almost like your guardian angel is standing there saying, okay, you can ask this one and this one and this one, and they're there, and they will assist you, and you can allocate some of this work to them. But you need to get down and honor your previous commitments and get this work done that's been sitting there. Uh, it has to be completed, but you're going to get it done. You're going to have help. You're going to have help to do it. At the end of that second week, you've been given fairness as your beautiful oracle card, and that is the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So for some of you, you know, you, you, you may have not, you may, may be dealing with some challenges around some people. Uh, or in your personal life, and, and you haven't been able to see the light, well, now you're going to be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel again. For those of you that have, you know, had an issue with someone uh, that there's been some, um, how can I put it, uh, like I said earlier, a parting of ways, an absence of people in your life because something was said or done that caused this kind of hurt or, or you know, this disappointment, and uh, there were challenges there, and now, now, excuse me, it's 3 o'clock now, uh, now you're going to be able to uh, handle this because someone's going to either uh, issue an apology or you're going to be uh, accepting an apology. And th this is going to what this is what's going to be able to resolve this in a peaceful way. So it's going to be handled in a fair and just manner. If uh, if there's money coming into you or monies that have to be spent in a certain way, it, it's going to be done fairly. So don't worry about this. The beginning week of, <clears throat> of the third week of the month of September is a King of Water. And that is your first card for the beginning of the week of that third week. So I, I do see that, uh, you know, and again, this is a relationship card. Sometimes it's romantic 
with people around us that we're intimately connected to and partners and things, or it can be people that we're, we have around our life and our close circle. Please know that you're going to be able to open your heart and your mind to those around you again. It's like uh, uh, you've been dealing with a lot of information, a lot of uh, drama in some of your lives right now that's been challenging, but now you're going to be able to uh, handle people again. I do see somebody is going to step up for you. It may be um, an experienced, uh, a mature woman who is, has a lot of wisdom and you respect her and, and she's trustworthy. She may be coming in to compassionately give you some heartfelt advice. Please take it. Know that you can trust her and or him. If it is a man, uh, you know, it could be a man. This is the king of water, but I was seeing a woman, but it could be a male as well who's going to come in and it's like they sit you down and they're going to say, let me, let me explain things to you. Let me help you if I can in any way to make this easier. I do see some of you are getting involved in some sort of paying it forward and that is charity work. I do see some of you maybe uh, out there, <clears throat> you know, uh, working for a cause. Some of you, uh, it may be just paying it forward uh, with some random act of kindness, but I do see some charitable work coming in for some of you as well, the beginning of that third week of August. You have a major card for the middle of that third week, pardon me, uh, not August, September. Uh, you have the Hermit. So this is for the middle of September, the third week, and, <coughs> and that would be around the middle of, this, of the month. You have been given the Hermit. The Hermit's all about tapping into yourself, into your own inner wisdom. And I always say to people, if you go in, you'll never go without. So go within. Sit there and have a talk with me, myself, and I, and say, what is it I want to do? Uh, you know, where is it I want to go? What What is I truly, truly want to do? Spend time in quiet meditation. Some of you, it may be a walk, a spiritual walk that you're going to be doing, and you may be teaching others. You may be taking a topic uh, that's spiritual to you, and you may be... Uh, sharing that information and wisdom as a mentor to others. This is, seems to be a self-discovery for some of you Capricorns. You're tapping into uh, a new thing in your life. So many people are. You know, with the way our world is, there's a lot of light workers stepping forward now and people are turning to, uh, you know, different forms of spirituality and tapping into that now to help them live their life in a more positive manner on their path. And often that comes with meditation, my friends. So do not hesitate to take yourself into meditation. That's often where we get the answers to our questions. Now, you've got a beautiful oracle message, receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. So it's when we can step back. When people do things for us or give us, and that can come in the form, again, of anything. Um, and often it, it comes in in the form of compassion and understanding and sharing of themselves uh, personally with us. And you know what? Allow yourself to receive the kind help from other people, whether it's time, effort, or money that you're being offered. Because don't be too proud. Don't be too proud when people step forward. You're going to be able to pay it back. And it's only when we can graciously and, um, you know, receive money humbly or whatever it is people are offering us in time of need that we're able to reciprocate and give back to others. Uh, and ha we'll have the ability to give back that energy to other people. And it's only when we can humbly and graciously receive that we're able to give as well. You have the Dreamer, a major card for the beginning of your final week of September, Capricorn. And this is a beautiful, beautiful major card. So this is basically confirming that it's time, time is right uh, for you to step out and boldly step out and walk a new path. Go after your dreams. You take that leap of faith. If it's a new business, if it's a trip that you've wanted on your bucket list, if it's doing something that you've never, well, that you said you would never do, you now can do that. It's the right time on your path to bring fruition to and reality to your dreams because they show me that you will get some unexpected opportunities coming in that are going to help you do this. So please know the time is right, my friend. Capricorn, step up there. Take that leap of faith and jump towards your dreams. In the middle of the final week, you've been given another major card, and this is strength. Strength, this strength card is all about you digging deep within. 
Okay, being strong within and knowing that you're stronger than you realize to handle any challenges coming down your path at the time. Anything new that you think you can't do or this may have to do with making that leap of faith that you so wanted to do and you're nervous about it. So by all means, no, I want you to know, don't lose your confidence. You are stronger than you really think you are and that has to do with inner strength. So I want you to let go of any harsh judgments that you've been harboring, that you've been carrying around, that's been dragging you down. Let it go. Throw it out into the universe. It's nine out of ten times it has to do with someone else's karma and someone else's drama. You don't need it. Forgiveness and compassion come into play too when we're strong. Um, in order to uh, in order to move forward, we have to learn those two things: uh, being compassionate and forgiving uh, of ourselves and others to be able to receive that inner strength that we have always had and you've always had. So know that you're stronger than you really truly are. You have the control and the power within you to handle these situations that are challenging that may be coming into some of you. Your final card for the end of September, uh, Capricorn. This is a beautiful card. This is the card home and this says your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So for those of you that have been dealing with some challenges in your personal home life, know that this is a card that comes out and says things are going to improve, things are going to turn around, things are going to get better. And again, it may have to do because the negative energy is moving from that location. It's going away. He, she, whoever it is, is going to be leaving that environment so that peace can be brought in again. And they are challenging times, but know that it will help to improve your personal life and happiness within that domain, within your household. Some of you may be just moving out yourself, leaving and or leaving an area that maybe you weren't so happy with, the environment where you were living or the energy around that home wasn't healthy for you and you're going to be moving to a better location and spot to make this home life much improved and better for you. I wish you a great six successful September Capric Capricorns because you are the achievers and know that I will see you again in October and I continue my friends to stand in that circle of light for you.